Bed bugs, they're back. These real life equal opportunity bloodsuckers have made a major resurgence during the past 10 years. Pest control companies that would get one or two bed bug calls a year are now reporting many calls a week. The resurgence was caused by a perfect storm of three factors. Increased overseas trade, moving the insects around the world. The reduction of residual pesticides in buildings in Western industrialized nations. And social fear and stigma. Bed bugs are nothing to be embarrassed about. They're not a sign of unclean homes, nor do they spread disease. Bed bugs are indiscriminate feeders, happy to dine on anyone within reach, whether in exclusive addresses or more modest accommodations. They've been with us for over 15,000 years and a constant companion in our travels around the world. Infestations have been reported everywhere people stay for extended periods of time from multifamily housing, million dollar mansions, apartments, hotels, shelters, schools, colleges and universities, to hospitals. And the traveling public have had quite a few problems with bed bugs. Being nervous Nellies, bed bugs, if hiding on something like a suitcase, will freeze and cling to the case if it's picked up. Thus the little stowaways ride along. Once a case is put down and is still for a while, a bed bug will quietly step off and tiptoe away to hide in a new spot. Bed bugs don't bite, but are gentle fussy eaters and feed by sucking blood through a portable straw called a beak. Technically, bed bugs have piercing sucking mouth parts, despite the familiar good night rhyme, night night sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs bite. Human skin reactions to bed bug feeding can vary from nothing at all, small red itchy bumps, to large welts, there is often a reaction delay from time of feeding to onset of irritation and feeding site redness. An infection may set in if there is active scratching caused by the introduction of bacteria by fingernails. The immature nymphs feed faster than adults, needing only two to three minutes before they are sated, while adult bed bugs require more time, eight to ten minutes. Bed bugs are active mostly at night. After feeding, they move to their hiding places called refuges for five to ten days, where they digest their meal, mate, lay eggs, or continue growing if they're nymphs. Bed bugs want to have nothing to do with people, but only as a source of food. They will not live in the hair or remain on a person's body, and so they are described as temporary ectoparasites. Bed bugs are oval in shape and brown to tan in color, and are the size of a lentil or melon seed. They are not microscopic and can be easily seen. They usually hide close to where the host sleeps or sits for long periods, but they are quite capable of regularly moving up to 20 feet between the host and the refuge. They have been known to commute as far as 100 feet for their meals. That's a lot of traveling, but bed bugs don't earn frequent flyer miles. They cluster together to elevate the humidity around them, creating a microhabitat that enhances their survivability. Bed bugs can live for a year or more without feeding. That's a long time between midnight snacks. Control of bed bugs takes coordination and cooperation. In rental properties, if a tenant suspects bed bugs, the landlord must be notified. In Connecticut, it is the landlord's responsibility to correct the problem. Landlords should engage a pest management professional or a properly trained sanitarian or maintenance superintendent. Someone willing and able to go into a potentially infested location and identify the insects. It is important to engage an expert because other insects can be mistaken for bed bugs, such as the eastern bat bug in Connecticut. Control for that insect is very different. Other arthropods that can be mistaken for bed bugs are varied carpet beetles, fleas, ticks, spider beetles, even lint. Tenants must allow building staff or professionals to enter their premises to inspect and treat, as long as proper identification and notice are provided. A court order can be obtained to enter the apartments of uncooperative tenants. Inspectors need to wear tight-fitting, light-colored clothing or coveralls, latex gloves, and smooth-soled shoes. Tyvek or hazmat-style suits are not suggested, since they can unnecessarily alarm tenants. The inspector must ask if there are any pets or other issues he should be aware of. Ask where the person sleeps or sits and start looking there, which is the most likely place first. Do a visual inspection with a flashlight. 
Examine the mattress, the box spring, frame, and other hiding spots for blood stains, cast skins, eggs, and the bugs themselves. Bed bugs can't burrow, but they can crawl deep into cracks and crevices, and not just on mattresses and box springs. They can hide in chair cushions, sofas, behind electrical outlets and switch plates, in back of baseboards and wallpaper, or even behind picture frames. In large multifamily dwellings, theaters, or public spaces that might be difficult for people to inspect, canine inspections may be conducted. Dogs are very useful in high volume situations, such as the consecutive inspection of many apartments in a single visit. When one infested unit is identified in a multi-unit dwelling, adjacent units must also be checked as well. The landlord must notify all tenants and begin remediation actions. Landlords are obligated to treat the infestation. Failure to comply may lead to legal action. Once an infestation is discovered, landlords must give tenants information on how to prepare for a bed bug treatment. Tenants must be encouraged to do proper preparation. If they are physically unable to clean and prepare their premises, then maintenance staff or pest management professionals may be called upon to assist. It is important to stress to tenants and those in adjacent units that good preparation is the key to successful treatment. To prepare for treatment, Put all fabric items in plastic bags and remove. Wash and dry fabric on hot and reseal in new bags. Remove all clutter and vacuum. Dispose of the vacuum bag. Seal mattresses and pillows. Most personal items and furniture do not need to be thrown out. Clean items can be brought home after treatment is completed. The key to success is early identification, treatment and eradication of this nuisance insect and good communication and cooperation. Bed bugs can be controlled with proactive vigilance, frequent inspection, and treatment by professional pest control companies. When building managers and occupants work together, the bed bug problem can be solved, allowing everyone to sleep tight. You should never be afraid of bed bugs. Thank you.